Something else we can do is we can do the mirror. So we can we can run symmetry on this. And we can even do um, move this face out a little bit. We can even do multiple symmetry planes. So we can we can put another symmetry plane in here. And so we basically have quad symmetry. Select that edge. If you double click near the end of an edge, it'll grab the loop of the edge. If you double click near the middle of an edge, it'll gla grab like the rings. So here I'm just going to grab this guy and, and, and move it out a little bit. Now that didn't do quite what I wanted because it, it kind of didn't move these. So we have this other tool called uh, Soft Selection, uh, which allows us to um, basically control the radius of the move. So you can see these points that are moving, and also these points are moving some. And you can see it in, in Control Mesh mode. You can see it as well. Um, probably want to do it just a little bit stronger. Go like that. So that's you know some of the basic sub D modeling uh, techniques that we can use there. Um, oh yeah, LOD. Um, let's do this for the mirror. I can uh, turn the mirror off and on. Um, I can unify the mirror and I can remove the mirror. So let's go ahead and unify the mirror. So when I unify the mirror, basically it turns it back into a single a single object. Uh, so there's no mirror. So you know you select this face, this is the only one you get. Um, we can we have this thing called LOD tools. Um, LOD allows us to edit at a lower level in the subdivision sort of process. So let's say we wanted to make, um, let's say this is some kind of a handle and we wanted to uh, make some finger grips for it. Um, We can pull that up like that, and um, once we say, and when we go back to the, to the level of detail off, we can see that these, those low-level edits have maintained themselves. So we can still work and, and manipulate things in this, in this, um, in this, in, you know, in this way. So, for example, if I move that up, you can see it's maintained it. Um, if I if I move it like that, you can see it maintains the uh, um, the the LOD is is relative to the face. So if I if I take and I rotate this whole thing around a little bit, that it still stays perpendicular to that face. Uh, so that's quite useful as well. Um, what we can do. Uh, you know, sometimes you may need to modify the topology. You don't like a particular topology. So we have tools like this where you can actually draw edges in and split things up. And 
you know, things like that. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, we can do a subdivide all. So you can get more tools. It's, uh, you know, if you don't want to use the LOD tools, sometimes you can go and just subdivide all and, and get it at a lower level. You can really do a lot with it. Uh, you can, uh, you know, display it in, in sort of the environment, uh, you know, that you're in. Um, you can convert it into SolidWorks, and once it's in SolidWorks, it's a valid solid, so you can do, uh, you know, shelling and, and Boolean operations and all that sort of thing on it. 